Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 36 of the Disguise 5 Complete LP. So, in the off time, uh, between last episode and this episode, I did uh, a lot of grinding. I'm just gonna let this speak for itself. Yeah, so everyone is at, uh, like, all the main characters that I'm planning on using a lot are around, like, level 500. And, uh, they've all been reincarnated a few times, so their total level, like, in terms of how many levels I got them, uh, a lot higher than uh, what you would think. Uh, and I also Me? Uh, bought a lot of abilities for them and strengthened their skills, because you can like, see, like, Killy has 74,000 mana. <laughs> so, all that, all that stuff. Uh, and he has, like, 18,000 SP. Um, I'll just do a quick run-through of what I did to do it. So, best. of course, I would go to the cheat shop and uh, I would put either money or mana all the way up uh, as per, like, the normal. Because now I can go down to 10, which lets me do it quite a bit. What I would do is go there the and uh, I'm not sure what star, but I would put on a star level that was approximately equivalent. Where would you like to go, uh, dude? To what I needed it to be, which I'll just show you. Go to martial training, I'd go to the third trial. And I would have the rest of the Let's team go. in either the mana group or the XP group have Kilia come out. Sometimes have to have Usalia bump him with uh, her her um, skill that lets you uh, that gives you more attack, because I upgraded it, so it gives you, like, plus 50% uh, attack. Uh, I would do this move that hits all of them. Let's go! And I would make sure... And I would, I turned, I would turn off the, uh... The... You okay? Uh, the animations and whatnot. To make it go even faster. And I would just stay in third trial until I ran out of SP. And because XP and whatnot were up super high, or the mana were up super high, my people would level up. Uh, Kilia would go up like several levels every single time. Uh, I also got these accelerators. They give plus two movement. Uh, I'm using Testament because it's good. And I gave two accelerators to him because I figured, hey, instead of a, uh, a foot, might as well just have those. Uh, I also gave an accelerator to Zorokin. So now Kilia's move is 11. <laughs> Uh, and Zorokin's is 10. So now he is held by no normal standards of anything, up. ever. It's great. Okay. And one thing that I did forget to mention that uh, goes on is I forget that after, like, every battle or every in every chapter, the people around the base also have unique uh, dialogue. Me too! Uh, and there's, like, sometimes interactions. Uh, but I haven't been doing those because I forgot about them, and I don't really plan on starting a new file to go through those or even getting that footage. So I just figured I'd tell you, that way if you get the game, you yourself won't forget about it. Um, and I don't believe I have really done any strategy assembly stuff. Um, now I don't really have to worry about mana cost. Uh, I could try this. Um... In fact, because of the way I'm leveled and whatnot, let, let's try this. Let's see if I can, in fact, uh, get a trophy. I don't think I will. Um, these guys... I think I could pro possibly take them. But I still would rather not have to take... Uh, you like monster weapons. So I think I get it. So uh, this one is essentially made so you have to fight everybody. But what I am going to do, in fact, is this person likes glasses. And because of my uh, mess up in, ter in uh, understanding what, uh, what worked, I'm just going to drop a crap ton of glasses. Because what these are doing 
are there. I could sell them for money. I'd probably be faster. Oh, they are. It does actually change. It just takes a bit. I just had enough. So I'm wondering if there are any more professors here. Yes. And this one's level 358, which makes it a little bit better because the other one was like really low. But uh, it's just making it so I can't get other items because I was dumb. So I might as well just drop all these items that I'm never going to use. I'm never going to level them up. Although I did see a, uh, a really funny picture uh, on Twitter where a person like leveled up one of the weakest weapons in the game to max level. And it was like super good. Well, super good for what it could be. Uh, yeah. Might as well do these as well. The less, because the less people I have to fight, the better. It's just uh, based on the unofficial Netherworld mascot. Okay, yeah, it's still absolute shite. Figured I would check. Okay, you're at love. You can't do anything. You're level 126. You're level 14. Um, I mean, might as well just go in. <laughs> So this one is designed for you to fight them off or pay them off. So I could pay up, but they're asking for an obscene amount of money. And that's half of what they are. Like, half Don't of what take they it personal. want. Um, so, let's look at Kilia's move. Boom! Like, look at all that. Look at that movement. Um, this is quite a few people. Um, so what I'm going to do... Is... I'm going to video holy waters them with do you want to do it? And then with that I'm going to get rid of Ultra Dragon God. <laughs> Good name right there. I like it. Um oh and you can see that her uh, voice line actually changed to who cares about being poor. Uh change that to Hades Ruination. I did get Better items as well. Uh, weapons. Uh, that's lit. Uh, because I want to see. I want to make sure that they die before I start like comboing. 294, 294. Um, yeah, so I'm going to attack. Yeah, and now they're all like a whole lot stronger. That's a it's actually refreshing. That. It's just nice. It's like, yeah, I don't have to worry anymore. Um, I'm gonna lift him so he can throw him. Because I want the 294 one to die. I don't really care about the level 14. That person's not even gonna be able to damage me, probably. Um, you're level 358. And I put him in the Gigantification Squad. Oh. I thought he would also have his unique moves, but I guess not, which actually uh, hmm. makes things a bit worse. But what I'm going to do is hmm. I'm going to throw Killia right there. That way they'll attack him first, most likely, and get countered to hell. You um, but what I will do is I'm going to hit this person from range with fire. Because... Uh, now, because I waited until like some of them got to like level 500, 600, 700 to reincarnate, they all have like a lot of stock levels, which increases okay. the amount of bonus points they get when they reincarnate. I'm gonna let this go, see how it uh, plays out before Ninja. I do any blue stuff. But um, I'm coming. Now, uh, now it's starting to get to the point where it's like once I get to better and better uh, levels and equipment and whatnot and base stats, I'll just be able to put more and more bonus points in at the reincarnation phase of it. And it's not even going to be that hard. Okay, so that was, that was lucky because that was essentially a, a death move. They just willingly, willingly accepted death right there. Okay, Let's go. so I want to hit them as much as possible without hitting any of these friendly people. Uh, simply because uh, you hit a friendly person, they're now an enemy. And it just makes it a bit more annoying. 
Um, right there. Um, and of course, Kilia is still, like, the only one who is uh, super duper powerful. Uh, some of them just aren't as powerful as others, as one would expect. Uh, and I did go through and lock some moves that I found that I just wasn't really using. And ninjas tend to have a move, uh, an ability that lets them get 50% dodge on an adjacent attack. Which is why I moved them back. And the gospel power, super damage lord. Okay, so super damage lord didn't do it. But 456, 482. I'm just trying to even out their levels for the most part. Nope. Sometimes the depth perception, like, oh, which, like, where's the line? It gets kind of iffy. So we did it! And you get, like, all these shit bonus lists because okay? it, it's not, like, a high level one because it's been available from the beginning. Let me thank you. I want a trophy, it's been approved. I got a trophy, and give me a trophy. So literally, it just gave me a trophy item. Uh, which I can't equip. I'm not sure if it's good. Trophy. Uh, yeah, I don't think you actually won this. It's an axe. Um, I'm wondering what the innocent of it is. Because it says number one man. So I'm going to go to the save menu. And you can see I have, uh... I, <laughs> I've been playing it for a while now. Uh, 50 hours. So, innocence. And some innocents were born. And I did do quite a bit of, uh... I'll just go to Anderson Farm and show you. So now I have uh, quite a few statisticians. Or statistician. Statis, statistician? Statistician. Uh, that I'm just not fusing. Because you do need two or more. And I believe the more you have, the more likely some random pair of them will uh, pop them. So instead of only having two high level ones in there, I'd rather have multiple because they're going to be in there and grow anyway. And I can pull them out, combine them. Regardless, once they hit the star max to uh, reset it. Uh, trophy guy. Increase stats by 1% of adjacent ally unit stats. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. That would, uh, if you ha uh, say you're trying to, like, really kill someone really hard, uh, you could have one really strong person, or you could essentially just have two really strong people next to each other with that. And if you could uh, somehow farm that number one man, you could eventually get up to like, oh, you have 100% of adjacent stats, or adjacent uh, uh, units, or allies thing. Just but uh, the Kara world, I've also done some of that to increase ability slots. And because I reincarnated, they're all back to uh, back down to 100 mana. Uh, I have yet to go above uh, 10,000 use per, or yeah, 10,000. Because it, it, essentially they just add a zero at the end of every use. So it goes 100, 1,000, 10,000. But uh, I'm just going to check out. So you can see it actually goes down to common ability 2. Where I have so many slots that had to make another one. And I just have these. Class proficiency and whatnot. Muscle. Uh, adjacent. Uh, and uh, after each person uh, basically got better, they also got a new ability. So now I get increased attack during Avenger mode by 100%, which is great, because that means when he's using his like triple move, uh, it's all a lot better. Increased 20 stats by 25% when Kilia is on the map, and Kilia's never not on the map, and it's unrequited love. Uh, precious people increase attack by adjacent ally units uh, times 20%, so you just surround her by people, and her attack will be doing 80% more. And I'm not sure if that's in the square around her or just next to her. Underdog Bravery, increased damage dealt to a higher level enemy unit by 50%. So say I face someone 491, I'm doing 50% more damage. Uh, Heart of a Leader, increased stats by units in the same squad times 3%. So you put him in a squad that has a lot of people, uh, he will have really good stats. Uh, superlative ally, increased attack of adjacent ally units by 20% of your intelligence. So he's essentially increasing adjacent ally uh, attack by 2,000 right now, or 2,500, or 2,000, I don't know. 
And then those are the only guys that get two because they're the upgraded ones. But what I did do is I, uh, uh, by hitting Y, I can load ability settings. So this is my reincarnation setting because uh, I, it's not all filled up, but I have like attack, class proficiency, but I increased the growth rates uh, by some of, of like the most useful ones for each person. Which is, uh, so I just have those on when I am reincarnating and power leveling. That way their resulting stats are even better than what they would just be. Um, okay. So after that... Let's fix you up. I'm uh, gonna save. Um, and go into you like to go, dude? the maps because... We're already, like, almost 15, 16 minutes in, and we have not even done the first map. So the Reserve Squad. Let's get to it. So this is Void Dark's castle. Oop. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah! <laughs> it certainly looks like the kind of castle a super final boss would have. My, there are survivors? They're tough for small fries. It seems that they aren't small fries after all. They look like normal lost soldiers, but their potentials are over 2,000% higher than usual. Over 2,000%? Is that even possible? I would say no, but it's actually happening. They're all elites with the potential to be overlords. Be careful. We're all overlords too, Blip. There's no way we're gonna lose. That's a super great point, Lil Usa. She's right. There's no way we're gonna lose. No, but... We don't have time to assess the situation. Let's go. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to essentially be using these maps as evaluations of, like, every map I'm going to increase the star count. Uh, just because I don't want to, like, be destroying these people so easily. Like, 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 it's not even a challenge at it's that my point. turn. Like, they're, they're just going to Let's die. Huh? Let me thank you. Which is why I'm not too worried about anything I that will could never happen. Run away anymore. Mm, yeah. This map isn't gonna take any time at all to successfully do. Um, so let's just enter now. My enemies came out. Be prepared. Yeah, it's fine. I wasn't able to skip that, so I Vacuum slice, vacuum slice, chaotic X circle. I'm not sure if this has been seen before, but might as well watch it because I don't remember it. Because I know I don't really use this move at all because Christo and Sarah both have it. But I think I locked it. 493, 490. Honestly, surprised there isn't a bigger disparity. In, uh, in that type of thing. How about it? Um, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna destroy these. Because uh, this will change it to yellow, this will change it to blue. And what color is this? this? Change this to purple. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for that. Ooh, wait, I shouldn't, because if I change it to purple, it'll change out the null. Um, aqua. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll see what this does. And I'll just, um, I'm gonna 
Move her. Throw her. Oh. I know I'm taking her off the plus two movement, but I just want her to be closer to the enemy. Oh, didn't even realize, oh, didn't even realize there's an enemy panel right there. That's actually pretty useful. Said, uh, you shit. Leaves that, that to be done. Uh, let's execute. Hellfire shot. So I, I, what I needed to do, and sort of may still do, is shoot down here and throw this block. Now that may be something I do, uh, increase throw range of people. Because that throwing is pretty important, but I might, I might, might not. Doesn't really matter all that hard. Hard doesn't matter all that much. Um, might as well. But I have... Uh, I've also increased uh, her Berserk Stream to plus four, so it uses 3,000 SP. The only reason why I haven't increased it more is because it started taking obscene amounts of mana that I could easily get to uh, upgrade it, which is the only reason why I haven't. So huh? Slugger... queue up is going to be really you good because okay? I have an item I want to show you. And it, I actually looked up curry recipes and it's almost the best curry. What the? They vanished before we could finish them off! They overheated. They unleashed too much potential power so their bodies must have broken down. These enemies are serious! There's nowhere for them to retreat! But why do you guys look so deadpan? The real fight's about to begin! Right? Y you're right. We're invincible as long as we have Sir Kilia, who has mastered the ultimate demon technique final skill. No. My ultimate demon technique isn't complete. Although I'm able to use the final skill, I can't defeat Void Dark yet. I don't know how I know. But I know it. I'm missing something. It's not enough. Kilia, it's all right, Clip. Even if you're missing something, we'll fill the gap. Yes, especially if the gap is in your heart. I'll fill it up personally. No. Your thoughtfulness is all I need. You don't have to carry everything on your own, Kilia. Earlier, Zero said something great. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine! That was it, right? No, you're completely wrong! It's all for one and one for all! Yes, if we all work together, we will have tremendous strength, Blip! However, I understand why Kilia is worried. Void Dark uses the ultimate demon technique too, so they both know each other's abilities. But if there's a secret skill of the ultimate demon technique that Void Dark isn't aware of, we might have a chance of winning. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. A final skill that surpasses the final skill? Is that even possible, bro? I'm not sure, but Lise once told me something like this. Kilia, want to hear something good? No, I'm fine. Um, but it's about my father's secret. His weakness? Tell me. It's not a weakness, but I have heard that there is a skill that even my father wasn't able to master. 
You're telling me there's a skill that even the great demon fist, Goldion, couldn't master? Yes. It's a final skill that surpasses the final skill. He said it's called the ultimate skill. Does such a thing really exist? Maybe. I don't know. But he said that the ultimate skill protects the people who are precious to you. A skill that protects people. Isn't that kind of weird? Protects the people who are precious? <laughs> Worthless. That has nothing to do with me. Really? Then you wouldn't protect me? The ultimate skill protects the people who are precious to you. Hmm. Precious people. That may be the key. But the people who are precious to Bro are... It's me, of course, right? Unfortunately, it's Lee's ape lip. I know. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> you just voluntarily stepped on a landmine. You are a super M, Sarah. An ultimate skill that protects the people who are precious to me. But I couldn't protect Lise. Does that mean I don't deserve to master the ultimate skill? So they just like, okay, yeah, they have the final skill. Let's just give it the ultimate skill, a better skill than the... Let's like, fix you uh, up. Like, how can we get this even more ridiculous? But, uh, uh, two things. When Red Magnus said, oh, you're a super M, he's talking about uh, a masochist in, like, S&M, sadist and masochist. And another thing is when he references something Zerogan said, uh, what, uh, what's mine is mine and, what you and what's yours is mine as well. Uh, that's actually a hard reference to Disgaea 1, I believe, with Laharl or Etna. Uh, okay, so the curry I was talking about, I gotta eat, I gotta eat my curry first, the, this one, which is gonna actually be pretty damn good. But the curry I have to make, uh, I need to get my thimbles first. <laughs> need to buy my hundred thimbles, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to, uh... Ah, damn it. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to empty out some of my stuff. Um, so the thing I need uh, to show you, uh, items, eatable. Uh, God, I love this music. Where are you? You're not there. I should... Okay. Here, there are elixirs. So these are almost the best items for healing an SP in the game. So you can see Soma's there at like 36,000. Boom, you're in the hundred thousands of uh, this. So I'm actually going to favorite these. Nope. Uh, because these are the best ones. I want to use the best items as possible. So I'm going to favorite those. And I say almost because there is post-game stuff. Well, not post-game, but post-main uh, story, like uh, epilogue stuff that is is better. I'll just say that. Okay, okay, okay. Now I need to go into fists. I need to go here and pick up all 100 thimbles, because the thimble is still uh, applicable, because these just give a uh, crit percentage. They don't do anything better. And it's 100 per. I mean, sure, maybe I can buy a different fist, and it gives like a slightly higher percentage per, but I might as well just buy 100 thimbles and put them in, because there's nothing stopping me from, like, uh, amount. And I didn't want to eat the other curry off screen. Uh, which is why. And I'm definitely going to try and eat this one on screen. So, after I'm done uh, recording some stuff, I might go and do some item world for other characters' items. Um, this is it. How's, how's my... Might as well. Uh -huh. 
And I do need to up the star counter. I'll put it up like two stars. Um, good extract. Um, but I won't. I'll just awesome. go into squads. Because I'm trying to... My, my goal is to uh, get all the squads uh, to be maxed. Because it, it's just something to do, really. Uh, but even if they're not going to have people in them. So, uh, gonna go to the cheat shop. Keep to your heart's the stars up. Uh, start up to five, so at the first thing of strong. Um, and then I want to show you how much XP it takes for uh, Usalia to bump up her Berserk Stream. Cost twenty thousand, and I can do it, so I'm gonna do it. But now it's at eighty-one thousand. And the SP cost at the next level will be 62,668. Oh, God. So I might just go farm mana in the downtime. I might not. I don't know. Because uh, I can get everything down to 10%. Uh, but I still get XP. And I don't really want to level people. I mean, I can. It won't be bad. Uh, and everyone does need mana anyway. Okay. Where would you like to go, so, dude? I up the star count to strong. Now let's go to uh, District A main army. Enemy reinforcements will appear at end of turn. It's unnecessarily huge and annoying. Jeez, where is that jabroni void dark? When I was in the Lost, rumor had it he was at the top of the castle. It's normal for the person in charge to be on the highest floor, Plip. Everyone, please don't forget that we have to face Demon General Bloodus before we face Void Dark. <laughs> we need to free Master from his brainwashing, but the final skill of Vidya Holy Water doesn't work on him. Right, bro? Yeah. But I owe Goldion more than I can ever repay. If only there was some way. Oh, I know. You can lift his brainwashing by using the ultimate skill. What do you mean? You're stuck at a dead end because you're limiting your list of people who are precious to you to only Lise. Doesn't the ultimate skill protect the people who are precious to you? Then just add Bloodus, I mean Goldion, to that list. I see. Lise has passed away, but Goldion is still alive. The final skill didn't work, but maybe the ultimate skill will. That might help, Master. You're awesome, sis. We've got to try it. Hey, Sarah, did you just say that so Killia would forget about his ex? <laughs> How rude. Princess Overlord Seraphina is not a woman of such low caliber. Sorry, I just had to ask. Red Magnus, didn't you know this was going to happen? Yes, Plip. <laughs> Protect the people who are precious. Is Goldion? You must be the rebel army. I am the overlord of Roaring Rampant, Beharidas, former member of the Ten Ashura Kings. Do you think you could defeat the survivor of a battle royale bloodbath against my brothers who obtained the title of Demon General? This guy is a Demon General too? Is it just me, or does he look weaker than Majorita and Bloodus? Don't underestimate him. He's unleashing his potential excessively too. So I like how it's gotten to the point where Red Magnus is resilient against bullets, so he doesn't pass out anymore. Let's go! Um, and I do like how they brought back this guy, because you see him in the uh, in one of the uh, cutscenes near the beginning of the game, where it's like, oh, you, you, you can also, uh, yeah, you, you can survive, but you all have to fight against each other, and that was one of the earlier cutscenes. Like, that's where you really learned that, like... 
Boy Dark is kind of a real asshole. <laughs> like, more so than it's obvious. Oh, wow. I ate the bones. He does have resilience against monsters. So, that's most likely why. And resilience against fire. So that would work. You guys, let's it's always interesting go. trying to figure out, like, what what's making this enemy not die in one I'm hit. I'm not an angel. I'm not an angel. Throw you there. You might not be an angel, but... Can't use that. Might as well just use gospel power again. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. How about it? <laughs> Completely what? forgot that Krista was in the range of the scale. But luckily, super high level, so he doesn't die from one move of it. Here I go! Here I go! Oh yeah, I didn't take him out of the gigantification squad. I'm dumb. And he has resilience against monster things. She doesn't. She actually... I've never actually bothered to look at all the resistances. Huh. Neat. Um, he doesn't have anything he can do right now. So end turn. Ready. Stat barrier. Ailment barrier, so I can't give ailments or decrease their stats. But didn't really plan on it. Because I don't decrease enemy stats. I just uh, increase my own. Makes it a lot better. Oh, crap. I'm the big Another buccaneer. So this is a pirate skill. I kind of wish I had a pirate on my team that was like exactly the same as him, like in terms of palette and whatnot, and just have that guy wreck him. That would be funny. This is interesting, because they don't... It's like, oh yeah, archers fire off your shit. Winner. I'm guessing this is one of the highest level uh, pirate skills because of how extravagant it is. Ah, uh, yeah, but you can see how much health and mana I'm getting back like, per turn. It's actually insane. So Marie doesn't die. I'll just shoot him over here. Attack her. Um, it's gonna have kill you, wreck him. So why the hell not? Where's Kevin? Okay. You're not gonna die in one turn. That'll take care of you. Yeah, I'll send you up here. So you can take care of these guys. And then... Yeah. Uh, that should be good. Now I just need to take care of those guys. Let's execute. Let me show. Let's <laughs> end Thank you. Yeah. Finally, just saw the 105k uh, damage. Because it one, once you hit over 99k, they just start doing like 100k in really big numbers. And I've seen one thing where like the total damage value, like in the bottom right, was in the trillions. I was like, God damn! And there was like a bit of setup too, like multiple uses of attack up and uh, intelligence up, and just basic stat boosters. They had all the best equipment. I'm going quick. I do like how this one is just anywhere on the field. Uh, it's gonna proc. It's not. From, uh, didn't expect that to work. I'm gonna have to use you. Damn it, target height problem. God, you just want to die, don't you? There you go. Idiots. Um, 475, 475, okay. Jackie. Chan? Um, might as well just use Braveheart. Um, I'm gonna try, I just want to get as much XP as possible. Four other moves. And I believe targeting multiple people does it. Yeah, skill. Because my skill and weapon proficiency are at like some 100%. 205%, I think. Per. Why? Why did this happen? 
If I was going to be used like this, then I would have preferred to die with my brothers. Overheated again. He even treats his overlords like crap. Ugh, makes me sick. He's huge. He's so big. I'm going to repeat myself. He's huge. This this is the overlord of Brutal Beast. Grand Gradrius the Sixth. That's impossible. Rumor has it he was killed by Void Dark. How are we going to fight this thing, Flip? Sir Kilia? He's a great opponent to practice the ultimate skill on. But, but... Don't worry. I'll master the ultimate skill to protect the people who are precious to me. I was only able to get to this point because you guys supported me. So, it's my turn to protect you guys. Amazing! That was simply amazing, bro! You defeated that beast in one hit! Whoa, whoa, Kilia! Are you trying to compete with me over the title of Strongest Overlord? Sir Kilia, were you able to get any clue on how to do the ultimate skill? Yeah, I kind of got it. But, it's not enough. Protect precious people. More than one person is precious to me now. Isn't that right, Lise? I don't understand how he was able to, like, yeah, I, I'm kind of getting it. When literally he was just told that there is an existence of it. And I think I got this because I did over 100,000 damage in one hit. Uh, yep. Cool. And I get a Claymore Lance, which is completely pointless to me. I still have yet to do this. What are, what are strange feelers? I need to do it. Oh crap, were there events before last episode that I didn't do? Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> Doing this one. Akira, hey, teach me the ultimate demon technique. No, I'm more stable since my heart is like it's a relaxing current. Hey, too, ultimate demon technique isn't that easy to learn. How can, how can that be? If Zero can use it, then I should be able to, right? You idiot, you have no idea how much we went through to master it. Mr. Kilia, I decided I want to learn the ultimate demon technique to get an innocent heart. How am I teaching you guys? Why do you want to learn it so much? Super obvious. To become the strongest overlord, I want the power to defeat Kilia. I simply want Sir Kilia to teach me step by step. <laughs> very, very non-innocent non reasons. So, he's even mentioning it. Impure motives. Sir Kilia's right, you have to get rid of your impurity first. Even though, like, one could say Kilia's moves were pure, but they were, like, pure in their badness. It's like, I, I'm just learning from you because I want to beat you up, and that's the only reason. Um, we made it this far, but there are demon gems we've never seen before. How many demon gems does Void Dark have? The number of layers the Lost has is ridiculous. Then does that mean there are more demon genuos than just Beharitas? Oh, it's a little too late to be scared of taking on ten or even a hundred demon genuos. Yeah, of course. I say just super bring it. Uh, you're right, the first red bomb have grown rapidly, but we must stay alert. It is interesting, because when you think, like, okay, ha they're talking about, like, billions, apparently. Like, there's billions of enemies in the Lost. And it, I, you do have to wonder about, like, you understand uh, Demon General Void, uh, Demon Emperor Void Dark is at the top, and then it goes down, and you know that there are at least three Demon Generals. But, like, how many layers where it just keeps increasing in number until you get to like the mass of billions of super weak, super low uh, people. Like, are there? Like, I'd, I'd actually be curious. Um, 
Okay. So let's save. Um, and how's what? my research going, bud? Uh, oh, okay. Cool. So what I've been doing is, instead of doing the boss battles, I've just been just leaving them. Because I just didn't care. Um, Wanna see? Yeah. Wanna see? There! There! You can do it. I'm going now go! It very fast a lot. And I'm starting to get pretty damn good uh, items can do as well. Now go. Because the nether worlds are starting to be really high level. And Come I say on. really good. I, I just mean better guess. than certain other ones. Ooh, discovered a gate to legendary land. And this is where I got my elixirs. I didn't find them in the item world. Although I kind of wish I did. And the elixirs have really high level <laughs> item worlds as well. I'll show you. A round light. You'll laugh uncontrollably at how easy it kills. A round egg. A round egg. I'm the star. Uh -huh. I'm the star. Uh, I'm number one. Cool. And at five percent, I don't yeah, understand how dude. this is complete. Oh, destroyed it. Yeah, yeah, that, dude. that explains it very well. Okay. Yeah, dude. So I got all these legendary lands. Squad level 200. Where a demon who once ruled the entire netherworld is now at rest, as decayed and no longer carries any of So one interesting thing that uh, I did find is the former human world. A world that was ruled by humans until it was invaded by demons, and citizen moved to the present human world. So I thought that was really interesting, that like, even in these, you uh, can sort of get like a little bit of history, where it's like, the human world, like, isn't the same one we're on now, I guess. Let's fix you up. Um, so I'm gonna heal everybody, and then send them back on missions. What? Uh, because I'm not gonna do the netherworld, because they're just almost a waste of time to do. Uh, I want to do. I want to make sure this one gets people uh, because it is <laughs> high level. Another world, although. Let's I'm getting go. Where like the people I just randomly recruited are getting pretty strong. Come on. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Goki. Here I go. And because. Yeah, dude. Oh, look, they're level 100s, but the people I'm sending are, like, almost yeah. level 300. Yeah. And, I, and when I do find that it's like, oh, a lot of them are dying, uh, what I do is I go through the, uh, Master. like, all the equipment that I've gotten from them, and then I equip them with, like, some of, like, better stuff that increases their attacks generally by a bit. Like, uh, and every time new stuff comes in, I always check to see if there's any, uh, better weapons that they just got. Like this. Like, look at this. So much better. And then checking on bow. Watching great bow. Yeah, boom. And that's the one of the main reasons as to why uh, I kept up with all of it, because it's not a very exciting thing, but it is a very useful a mechanic in terms of just getting better equipment. Not interesting, not very... it is actually rather intuitive, but by no means is it something that you have to do. Uh, but it would behoove you to do it because of how much easier certain things get. Samurai armor. You just get so much better shit with it. Like, the better stuff you get, like, the better you're gonna do. And I love it. I just love increasing my character's stuff, like Destiny. And it's like, look at this. Like, I'm gonna be so much better now. And I don't even know why I'm wearing these shitty shoes. Like, I know I don't have any more accelerators. 
look, I even have chaos orbs now. Uh, I have these vernier thrusters that also give plus two movement. And give me so much more speed, so boom, put those on. Yeah, of course I don't really need to do anything to you. Um, crosshair. Or, uh, uh, yeah, because I don't... Uh, uh, boom. Clips wand. Mighty staff. Destiny Lens, Samurai Armor, go over here to Hot Treat You. It's just, ugh. I, lo I love equipping people with better stuff and just seeing their stats increase. Genie's Blade. Look at that. Look at that. You ain't never had a friend like this murder tool. And it looks super cool. I love it. I love all this stuff. I like This game, Like I am so glad I found it. Because they just, every game they make is just super solid. And I've never regretted uh, playing any of them. Like, there are some where it's just like, okay, like this game was a little weaker than the other ones. But it's never been to a point where it's like, I don't, I didn't like this one. The reason why I didn't equip both Chaos Orbs to her is because I want to give one of the Chaos Orbs to her. And I need to equip her with better armor. Much better armor than what she had on. Uh, Astral Orb. Ah, damn it. These classes are making it hard for me to get through easily, because I was a dummy. I like to think in my past life I was even dumber than I am now, to make me feel a little bit better about it. Um, might as well give her one of the royal rings. So you have prof dependent, which that royal ring is better than. Uh, and I might try and level up this testament, I don't know. Crosshair. Your foresight. Clips uh, wand. Cosmo gun. I'll give you. Yeah. So her her stuff is pretty good right now. And then all of them can do whatever they wish. Let's fix but you up. After all that exciting gameplay of me iteming. Okay, so we have finally gotten to the point where we finished out our, all the revives, almost all the SP, almost all the HP, uh, and almost the these. And I believe after Private Defendant, they're probably going to give me a Testament, and then I don't know what comes after Testament. But I'm almost at the HP necessary for this. Uh, got a bit to go for the SP, but that won't be too bad. And then the revives. Uh, I don't really plan on having my characters die much. Um, and I did want to Shall show you all the uh, item world of the elixirs. Yeah, so you can see like their item worlds at start at 300. It jumps from Soma at 162 to 300. It, like, doubles. And that seems to be almost the case for these types. Why is Saki so high? Oh, because it's one of the best SP ones. Okay. Yeah. So ones that te uh, stay mostly short cake. Holy crap. So the highest level, like, specific ones for the most part, they tend to be, like, really high level. But, why level them up? Because they're usable items. Like, might as well just do, uh, do a sword. That way, it's better. Um, like, oh. Like, boom. 
Level 306. Why, why bother with a ingestible item? But with that, I'm going to end this episode. I hope to see you all in episode 37. See you all. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm looking at a screen and talking into a microphone. Like I see anybody with my super bad eyes that I have to have super strong glasses for. Uh, I hope you all have a very nice day. Thank <laughs> you.